What's going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. So today we're going to be walking you through how to do a proper renegade row, especially a lot of you are probably doing this from home. You might have smaller dumbbells. This is amazing for building your back, your core strength, your overall stability, and even your quad strength. Unfortunately, a lot of people do it improperly. So let's jump right into proper form. We're going to jump onto the ground here, grab two dumbbells. You want them to be about shoulder width apart. You want to get your legs all the way back. I prefer about a shoulder width approach right here. And then the biggest thing is you just pretty much keep your core tight, your glutes engaged, and then row, okay? Trying to get your arm all the way up into your elbow and get a nice squeeze, okay? So we'll get some side angles as you'll see on the screen here and just keep the core tight, everything engaged. Amazing exercise, give it a shot. Now we're gonna show you a bunch of common mistakes because you can learn a lot from the common mistakes, which is what a lot of people do. Before we jump into the common mistakes, make sure to click that first link in the description for a free personal trainer in your pocket. Basically, it's 20 to 25 exercises that you can pull out. You can look at the top tips, just scroll through. Amazing free resource and we'll send it to your email at no cost. So before jumping into this, I really wanna make sure that you can master shoulder taps. Basically, this is when you're in a high plank position, you're keeping everything nice and tight, you're not swinging, you're not swaying, and I think a lot of times people can't do a proper shoulder tap, but then they try to load up a bunch of weight and it gets very, very tough. So when it comes down to it, you really wanna make sure that you mimic the renegade row and you practice, okay? And if it gets too easy, hold it. Three, two, one, okay? Master this, it's the exact same motion almost, right? You gotta balance on one side, you gotta keep everything tight. So do some of these, practice that, and then progress into a renegade row. And as you can see on the screen, number one common mistake is just hip swinging from side to side. I see this happen so, so often. A lot of times people just can't master that shoulder tap position. And what I'd much rather you do is actually just do regular standing rows and just do shoulder taps in the plank position, then go on the ground and do renegade rows with very, very poor quality. That's not, just not gonna do a whole lot for you. So master that, making sure you're keeping everything nice and tight. It's gonna take a while, right? This is a tough exercise, amazing to add in, but really try to keep your body super straight. That's how you're gonna get the best benefits from this exercise. And number two common mistake is just simply doing half reps. As you can see on the screen here, I'm only doing about 50% of the range of motion, probably because the weight's too heavy or just because I can't fully do this. Just make sure to choose a lighter weight. Make sure you're just going, bringing your, elbow, uh, your elbows all the way up towards the armpits. That's how you're gonna get the best results. You know, half reps always lead to half measure. So make sure you're doing this properly if you're gonna give it a shot because it's a great exercise when done full range of motion. And number three, just be patient on yourself. I find a lot of times people are just super, super hard. Now I gave you the cold hard truth and all the stuff that I truly believe, but at the same time, this is a newer exercise. There's a lot of moving parts here. You have to stabilize, you have to engage your glutes, you have to keep your legs at a proper position. There's a lot. So just a lot of times muscle memory kind of just kicks in. Once you keep going, you keep going, you keep going. This isn't something you're necessarily gonna really get hurt with, so I do uh, highly recommend just keep trying it out. You know, we had our filmer try a bunch of different reps and you know, it was a very tough and then he starts getting used to it, keeps getting used to it and eventually it'll all come together after continuously trying. Now just one other small thing is that if this is tough, if you've mastered the shoulder taps, you practice that, I do recommend putting your legs a little bit wider. That way you can start with a more stable base, keep everything nice and controlled. A lot of times people have their legs way too close, which is hard to balance and stabilize, so give that a shot. But aside from that, Great exercise to be doing, even if you're not doing it at home in the gym, fantastic. Make sure to smash that like button, download your free form guide, give this a shot, let us know when you did, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.